Hey guys, um, over the course of the last few months I've been updating my rifles and um, along with that has come slings. I was researching slings and it turns out they are expensive. Um, if you want to get uh, a sling that's adjustable and uh, suits your needs, uh, needs the best, you're going to be selling out some money. Um, usually they're running around $50, um, some of them up even higher than that. And if you have multiple rifles that um, you try and keep the same manual of arms, uh, basically the same across all of them, so you know you're going to be running the same type of sling on on them all. You know you're really going to start adding up a couple bucks. Uh, so what I've done is uh, build two point VTAC style adjustable slings, and each one of these came in around under twenty dollars. Um, I made ten of them on this run keep shipping costs down. Um, I've taken the idea from the Haas USMC um, do-it-yourself homemade VTAC sling video that he posted up. I pretty much duplicated it, a uh, few changes, but I'll link that below. Um, instead of plastic, uh, like he does in his video, I used metal sliders. These were 15 cents a piece, so it's less than a dollar for the one sling. This nylon webbing I used uh, wound up being a little thinner than I wanted, so I had to double it up over itself and sew it down along the edges. Um, this this end here, out of the adjustable end, I put a little thumb loop in it. But I bought 50 yards of this um, for 30 bucks. That's about three dollars a sling. The Alice adjusters for the slide. Um, these are. Uh, a little less than three dollars a piece. I bought a whole um, sling that came with this shoulder pad uh, for eight dollars. I just had to modify it with these lateral straps so I could fish my um, the sling body through it. Um, this strap material came with the shoulder pad itself, so I didn't spend any more money there. And uh, actually, the uh, the shoulder pad sling came with some H and K style clips in there, so I could have saved a couple bucks um, had I known that um, originally. Um, but uh, I also added these small pouches to each one of them. These were about three dollars and fifty cents. Uh, an additional cost to the sling, I'm putting in rats tourniquets into these pouches and uh, we all know those rats are about uh, 15 to 20 dollars. Each one of the slings I made I bought um, two QD and two H&K style clips for the ends. Um, that way I can just you know go off and, and change stuff around however I want it because I already have this equipment there. If I hadn't have bought all that I would have saved um, probably about 30 dollars um, thirty or forty dollars across the, the whole purchase um, of the, the ten slings. Uh, but basically building each one of these took me about twenty minutes. Uh, the bulk of that was the sewing um, which if you buy the correct material the first time you won't have to waste your time doing that. But they seem pretty sturdy. Um, they have full adjustability which is nice. Um, the point of my vid was just to to keep putting out there that you don't have to spend a ton of money to get good stuff if you're willing to do research on parts and willing to put uh, the effort into putting it together yourself you can build something that's perfect for you and save yourself a fair amount of money um, I just finished this tonight so I haven't had any time to run and gun it yet but uh, I don't really anticipate any problems with this link so <coughs> excuse me cheers guys one mod I did to the, to the sling is I added a single ring on the adjustment loop. That way it keeps that strap in line with the rest of the sling. That way it's not just hanging down. I don't know if I'm going to keep it because it, it does create a big loop right here that can get caught up on something potentially. So, But uh, I'm going to try it out see how I like it.